Hey everybody, Dr. Dave Marquis here, and I wanted to thank you for the resounding response that I've received relative to that last video that I put out um, on losing our moral compass. That, that really meant a lot to me that there's that many people that share a common sentiment and are just feeling isolated and uh, looking for some type of tribe to uh, associate with and and perhaps even to kind of quiet that voice inside your mind that says, well, am I crazy or am I missing something? It's almost inevitable when you get bombarded with negative input 24-7. And that's what will happen if you happen to have any media on. So it's difficult to keep your, your compass going the right direction. And I, I acknowledge that. And I also salute anyone who's putting up the intestinal fortitude and the, the, the spinal strength to stand strong for things that you have believed and, and held on to and, and trusted in. Because there's way more of you and me and us collectively than this force that is really trying to dismantle our lives. Realize that. And that's, I'm going to be really brief today because the thing that I really want to share with you is that there are other people and organizations and um, at, at every level, wh whether it be in industry or politics or in legal settings, that are there trying to right this ship and, and correct the, the injustices that are being imposed upon us. There are resources at every level in each community and nationwide that you can tap into to either support or get information from or collaborate with in some way. And I want people to do that and know that, okay, now is the time to take action. The, the Constitution that we have been protected by here in the United States of America that's kind of being shredded at the moment, this is the day that it was written for, this time period. And we collectively need to protect that thing. and understand that it really is our compass and our guide as United States citizens. So we need to do this. Please take the time, break that thing open, dust it off and recognize that it is there to protect you. Two things that I wanted to share today. One I'm going to finish with and that's the, the resources and they will be posted within the bottom of this video. So you'll, you'll have access to those. I wanted to share a couple of quotes from Martin Luther King, and these, these really resonated with me, and they're appropriate for this time right now. The first one is that any law that uplifts human personality is just. Any law that degrades human personality is unjust. Another that Dr. Martin Luther King stated is one has not only a legal but a moral responsibility to obey just laws. Conversely, one has a moral responsibility to disobey unjust laws. Those things that are being put into place that infringe upon our human rights as protected by the Constitution are unjust. We have no obligation to follow those. Recognize that and embrace that power as a people collectively it's the only way that you're going to right this ship, that we need to work together to make sure that those minor voices that have the power of the pen right now understand that there's a tidal wave of people that want their rights protected and their children's rights protected and their children's children. Take the time to do this and realize that we the people have that power. So. I have with me a, a number of different resources and these will be these posted there and uh, the websites that you can go to and some of them are specific to supporting our kids, some of them are specific to supporting your health, some of them are uh, specific to supporting your legal right to work and, and keep your job. So. Um, there's a couple of resources here on things that we can do preventatively to deal with the infection that we've all been working against, or <laughs> you would think that we've been together working against it, but there, there's a lot of dispute in that regard. Anyhow, um, 
take the time to go through these resources. I think that you'll find they're very helpful. Get engaged. Uh, give of your time, of your resources if you can, to collaborate so that we together can save our country, our states, our families, and all the things that we hold dear to us. Now is the time to take action. Thank you for listening, and be well.